The loose ball falls for Vidyasaga. Comron in the middle. Joseph out wide. Vidyasaga on his own. And what a blistering strike that is from Vidyasagar Singh. His number six. Top goal scorer in the Hero I League. Hi Vidyasagar, thank you for joining us. And yeah. congratulations on your terrific goal scoring record. We're all enjoying it as fans. Uh, so, coming to so the first question, Vidyasagar, it would just be. Uh, how do you feel after breaking, making a new record? It's obviously a great achievement. So, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm very lucky to have scored so many goals. Uh, regarding the record, I feel humble and uh, thankful to God. And you're the top scorer in the Hero Ali with 11 goals. And so, how do you feel about being in that position? Yeah, yeah you know. In I League, uh, they have so many uh, foreign uh, quality players and Indian also. Uh, being in the top uh, goal scoring shot, I'm very happy for myself and my family. Yeah, that is all. And coming to just how you started playing football, we'd love to know more about you. So, uh, could you tell me uh, with the your first memory of playing football, how old were you and when you started playing? When I was at six standard, I started playing football in my locality. Uh, even the ground is not too far. It is uh, both nice stadium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I played with my friends. I enjoy a lot. Yeah. Okay. And you previously mentioned that your uh, former women's team striker Prameshwari Devi. Uh, she was a big influence on you, so could you tell us a bit more about her? Uh, first of all, I want to thank Yom Prabhmishwari Devi, uh, former India, Indian woman international. Uh, she influenced me a lot. Uh, uh, she teaches me about the basic things of football. Uh, she, she, uh, she is always there when I need it. Uh, she tried to rectify my mistake, she teach me how to dribble, how to kick, everything about football. So I want to thank her. So you are still in touch with her, she keeps guiding you? Yeah, still she is supporting me. I think she is the biggest fan of me still. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, about your family, could you tell us uh, who, are, uh, who all are there in your family and how much they have supported you so far? Yeah, they supported me a lot. Uh, my father is just a farmer and my mother is a housewife. I have one younger brother and one sister. Mm. Uh, my brother, uh, younger brother is still studying. And what challenges did you face as uh, growing up? Did you face any hurdles that made it difficult for you? My family being farmers, uh, it was very difficult uh, financially uh, to buy boots, everything about football. Yeah, sometimes I used to go in uh, hmm. to support my family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you are obviously very happy for the support. So how does your family uh, react when they see you scoring and? How happy are they for you now? Yeah, I think they are the most happiest, uh, what to say, happiest parents in the world. I think they are so proud of me. Okay. And playing football, you obviously played football for a long time. So what is it about football that you like the most? Why did you fall in love with football? You know, uh, football is a team game. Uh, when I play football, uh, I feel happy. Uh, even I forgot all my pain, everything I forgot. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy only football, that is why I want to play football. Okay. And when did you decide that you want to become a football player? Uh, when I, I was at tennis standard. Uh, I I played local tournament, uh, but uh, all 
the time uh, if I play the local environment, I I am the top scorer. Mm-hmm. At the time, my friends, my locality people supported me. Uh, they said even even they said to my father uh, to support um, to uh, for playing football. Uh, from that moment, I think I want uh, I want to play football. And your parents have always been supportive. They have always wanted you to become a footballer from yeah, the start. Yeah, yeah. You know, even my father wants to play football. Mm-hmm. Even when he was, uh, what to say, uh, younger. Yeah, uh, he was younger. He want to uh, play football, but my grandfather he don't want football. You know, at that time football is not uh, in India. Football is not uh, everyone don't want to play football at that time. Mm-hmm. When football uh, football player is very less, mm-hmm. but he he want to play. That is why he supported me a lot. Absolutely. So you can say that it is your father's dream to see you become a footballer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's great. And uh, come, then you joined Trau. At what age did you join Trau? And what are your first memories as a y- young player joining Trau? Yeah. When I was at sixteen, sixteen, uh, uh, I joined Trau. Uh, I get uh, too many experience from there, mm-hmm. and. You know, even our assistant coach, uh, Sulmani, mm-hmm. uh, he was the main coach there. I want to thank him. She, she helped me a lot from that time. Still, she helped me. Absolutely, that's so great. And uh, from there, you obviously went to East Bengal in the I League. So, how was that experience with East Bengal, and how much did you learn there? Mm. I got too many friends from there. Mm. Uh, even. How long were you there in East Bengal? Uh, I have been there four years. Four years. So, what are your favorite memories from there? You obviously scored in the I League as well. So, yeah. what moments do you remember the most? Uh, the best moment for me in the is uh, when I score against uh, Silong Lajong mm-hmm. in the I League. Okay. And now, then you come back to Trau, your club you started with. Yes. And now you're. Uh, very three points away from the top. So, yeah. how do you see the remaining games in this season? Uh, you know, in a week every match is crucial. Mm. Yeah, we uh, we have to try to win all the match, and I think uh, we'll do do the best. Okay. And so, what what do you think is the re- reason for the team doing so well? For you doing so well? What has changed for the club? Yeah, you know, everyone mm, supported each other uh, all the time. We are uh, we, we are combining each other. That is the main. Okay. And so in Manipur, we have all seen that so many players come from Manipur, not just football, in other sports as well. So, what makes Manipur so special, according to you? You know, in Manipur is known as powerhouse of fo- uh, sports. Everyone want to play football. You know, in Manipur nowadays, uh, too many professional footballers there. Uh, that is the mm, uh, even in every house. Uh, ep- uh, football. Every footballer is there in every house. Britain. No club from Manipur has won the I League yet. Trau could be the first. So, how big of an achievement would that be, especially for people of Manipur? Yeah, it will be fantastic if we win uh, this I League in this year, and even even the fans and people of Manipur will be uh, very happy. Uh, it will be a great achievement for Manipur. Even you, you, you all seeing that you're getting a lot of appreciation on social media and among the fans as well. So, any message you would like to give your fans, especially in Manipur? Yeah, I want to thank uh, the people of Manipur for supporting us. Uh, keep supporting us. Uh, we will try to do our best to win all the matches and try to be champion of uh, this league. You've been in uh, terrific form. And what future target do you have for yourselves in the in the coming years? Yeah, you know, everyone 
every footballer wants to be a part of the national team. You know, I uh, I also want to be a part of national team. Yeah, I have full fully uh, head in the head coach, uh, Mr. Igor Estime, in my ability and performing. I want to score more and more goal in the I League. You know, I League is a uh, platform for youngster. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Vidya, for joining us. It's obviously a great pleasure talking to you, and uh, all the best for the coming games. Thank you. Thank you.